What's up, folks? Welcome to the channel Rock in the Country. I'm Don. This is traditional country music. That's what we do here. Sometimes bluegrass, but we don't do pop music of any type. Anyhow, I am doing a reaction to Johnny Paycheck's song, I Never Got Over You. And it was requested by Secret City Studios. Shout out to you. I'm going to do this. So let me swap hats, show you my bald head. I shaved that bad boy. It's just easier. It just so happened that the request came in where yesterday's reaction was to Rhonda Vincent's song, I'm Not Over You. And Johnny's got the same theme going. So let's see where this one goes. Interesting beginning. I couldn't keep my mind on all the work I had to do today. Yeah. Your memories kept on clouding up my mind, getting in my way. I feel ya. Next day, up and fire me, and I'll be wondering what I'm gonna do. The only thing that I can say that makes me act and feel this way is I never No, I never got over you so I still funny. see your dark eyes Almost everywhere I turn I keep standing on the bridges oh. I thought I had I can still feel you near me in everything I try to do. And the only thing that I can say that makes me act and feel this way is I never. This is a really different presentation for most of the as compared to most of the songs of Johnny's that I've reacted to or reviewed. It's really different. This I wonder what part in his career that this took place because sometimes labels try to get you to move in a certain direction or even artistically you try something different. This is an interesting delivery, but the lyrics themselves, I understand them. Old memories have the damnedest way of showing up the most unusual time. They can walk right through the darkest part of your mind and turn on every light. Oh, oh shit. So or cool. take a perfect crystal day and turn it into a misty shade of blue. And the only thing that I can say that makes me act and feel this way is I never, never got over you. I still see your dark eyes almost everywhere I turn. Weather dark. I keep standing on the bridges. I thought I had. I can still feel you near me in everything I try to do. And the only thing that I can say that makes me act and feel this way is I never. Lord, I never got over you. I heard the back and both of us. Yes, the only thing that I can say that makes me act and feel this way is I never Honey, I never got over you It's good they had a female backing vocalist in this too It's about a woman Yeah, I mean that one line in the song I'm still like contemplating 
the myriad ways in which I could be understood. But the one where he said, I'm like standing, I keep standing on the bridges that I thought I'd burned. I was like, is there still hope? I, I think that's kind of what that means. He, in his mind, made the, she keeps coming back to him and you try to find some avenue, some way that you could resurrect the relationship, which is another way of saying you kind of hope you'll find something. And maybe that's what that bridge represents, um, that he thought he'd burned. And why were her eyes dark? Was it because he made them dark? Or is it just literally their brown eyes? You know, that's the thing about words. You could take them multiple ways. Some artists are really good with me metaphors and allegories and similes and all these different figures of speech that you could use. Uh, and sometimes it's just straightforward literal <laughs> and uh, whatever. But this was different for Johnny. This, you know... He can sing a ballad, though, and he's a man's man, this dude. He could, and he could sing a ballad. So, but this, the instrumentation was very different. The drums were much more pronounced, uh, along with the bass line. Bass is usually sort of underneath it, you know, but they brought that more prominently forward. They were heavy on the piano, which is fine. I mean, traditional country has piano in it, too, and there was steel that was brought in. But this is a very different sort of than the, you know, hard punch and outlaw type thing. So, okay, Secret City Studios. What do I rate that? To? I can relate to it, too. I get it because I got left. And so it was like, oh, sh and, you know, I relate to it. You move on. You do. But your mom, whatever it is about memory, and some of us have better memories than others. Right. And. I've been told by many folks that, like, I have an absurdly good memory. And they're like, dude, how do you remember that stuff from elementary school or high school or any different vignette? I'm like, I don't know. Like, there are some people who have 100% recall. They have perfect memories. They can, like Mary Lou Henner from the TV show Taxi, she has perfect recall. If you ask her and say, June 11th, 2001, what was the weather? What were you wearing? She can recall every single detail. And it's hard to live with that. Um, and I don't mean a person with her. It's hard for her to live that way because there is so much in her mind that keeps coming back that you can keep, re you know, she, she keeps reliving certain moments of her life, like as though it were happening now. And that's very difficult. But depending on how well you remember things, I think the sentiments in the heart keeps generating feelings but when you attach specific thoughts and sort of like in your brain or in your mind wherever that takes place those memories resurrect specific instances and you've got words to attach to them that that can be tormenting and that's what he was speaking about not in my words in his own but oh shoot i gotta rate that I'm coming in with an 8.3. It was Johnny Paycheck, so that already puts it up there. The composition itself was okay. Uh, I did like the, the lyrics in it, though, especially that one lyric. I keep standing on the bridges I thought I'd burned. I'll be thinking about that one even after I sign off here. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Have a great day. I'll see you on another video. Keep rocking the country.